welcome back to my channel. Today we are talking about the best beaches in the UK. Before to start don't forget to subscribe to my channel, this will help me to understand that what I did is to your likings. Camber Sands, East Sussex Who needs a vacay to the Arabian Desert when a trip to Camber Sands is on offer? The miles-long wide beach and stunning sand dunes make it great for long walks, and you'll have plenty of space to splash in the shallows. Dirtle Door, Dorset This stretch of Dorset's Jurassic Coast got splashed all over the media recently thanks to crowds of sunbathers, flouting social distancing rules on the beach. Dirtle Door is a big attraction, the limestone arch that separates St. Oswald's Bay and Man o' War Cove is spectacular, but you'll have to head down and back up again, several hundred steps to get to it. Bay, Tresco, Isles of Scilly. With white sands and turquoise waters, you could be mistaken for thinking you're on a tropical island. And the Isles of Scilly also have their own microclimate, which means they are a little hotter than the rest of Britain. If you don't want to lounge on the sand, it's a great beach for water sports and at certain times of the year, you can walk between the islands. Fresh seafood is in abundance too. Holcomb Beach, Norfolk Remember when Gwynny walk along a beach at the end of Shakespeare in Love? That's Holcomb Beach. As well as a long stretch of unspoiled golden sand, the beach is part of a nature reserve so there's plenty to explore. Bay, Gower Peninsula, Wales. The Gower Peninsula is home to one of the most beautiful stretches of coastline in the UK. As well as being picture perfect thanks to a long curve of sand framed by rugged limestone cliffs, Rosalie Bay is also a good spot for surfing. Porthcurno Beach, Cornwall Cornwall is blessed with great beaches, like Porthcurno right down in the southwest of the county. 
It's a relatively small bay, but the water is beautiful. to dolphins and in basking sharks have even been spotted down there. The cliffs shelter the beach and there's even an open-air theater up there. Formby Beach, Merseyside Formby has dramatic sand dunes that move several meters every year, meaning prehistoric footprints have been revealed there, and the woodlands by the beach are also home to the rare native red squirrel. Not only do you get views over the Irish Sea, on a really clear day you can see out to the mountains of Cumbria. Blackpool Sands, Devon Not to be confused with Blackpool up north, it's also made of small pebbles rather than soft sand, this Devon beach is sheltered, super clean and has wonderful water, making it a popular spot for both swimmers and sunbathers. Tynemouth Long Sands, Tyneside This mile-long golden beach is one of the most beautiful in the northeast. It's a great walking spot, it attracts sunseekers when the weather is good and it's a popular surfing destination, having staged national surfing championships. Corin Sands, Jura, Scotland Jura, an island in the Inner Hebrides, is one of the wildest places in Scotland. Only around 200 people live on it. George Orwell spent months on the island to write 1984. And its rugged coastline is home to lots of wildlife, including seals. Corin Sands is the best beach on the island and with so few people around, you'll likely have it all to yourself.